Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a quick flashlight video for you. I do carry a flashlight nearly every day. I've got these two here because they're the ones I carry most often. This is uh, an Olight i5T. Um, you can see the clip is missing because it flicked out of my pocket one time when I was walking through the woods. And, uh, you know, I just carry it in my pocket now. It doesn't bother me. I'm sure I could reach out to Olight. I checked on, you can, you can get another one, but I just haven't bothered. So it seems to work fine carrying in my pocket. This is the Streamlight MicroStream, another light these these two represent my most carried flashlights um both are pretty convenient this one just takes a typical you know this one takes a regular double a battery this one is chargeable on its own so you just plug it into a uh, uh, usb uh, micro usb and, and charge away um so these get carried the most and and i find them very practical for you know the average day where where i'm i may have to go let's say out to the garage in the night and find something really quick or i may have to you know when i lock up the church building at the end of the day sometimes i turn all the lights off and then realize oh shoot i'm in the wrong end of the building i gotta walk my way out so you know flick a light on for a second get out you drop something on the floor in the car turn your light on for a second find it um for those kind of purposes i find these lights absolutely fantastic this is you know this is probably 99 percent of my use for a flashlight so i think it's it's great um i don't carry something like this on my person very often you know unless i'm specifically going out you know when it's uh, we're getting out of the the winter time now but you know around here in the winter it's dark at like four o'clock so if i'm going to go walk the dog at five in the afternoon even though it's still early it's already pretty dark by then so then i'll carry something like this with me i know i'm going to be using a light for a prolonged period so it makes a little more sense but when i saw the olight arc felt let me get this stuff out of the way when i saw the olight arc felt i was really curious about it because um, i liked the size i liked the shape or potentially thought i would like the shape because it's nice and flat there and i could drop this in my pocket i'd have a little more capability so i think this light is a light I, I could use and carry you know on that five o'clock uh dog walking in the dark or if i'm you know trying to get out to uh my my hunting blind in the dark something like that where you're going to be needing your light for a little longer uh, i could definitely see using something like this and um the added the, the one thing i miss from the one feature that i enjoy from of this that i didn't have on those other lights is the the back magnet um and the extra brightness so i picked this up i've been using it i've been carrying it for a couple two three weeks now and actually i have to say i'm pretty impressed with it i did get this from white mountain knives uh justin has a bunch of different models of the arkfeld as well as the other lights uh, i don't think he has stream lights over there but um he tends to to get and and keep um, a lot of those high demand color variations of Olight. So if you're looking for one or you're looking for one that it's a particular one that you've had a hard time getting your hands on, um, go over there, check it out. Use my discount code sharp stuff. It'll save you a little bit of money. Um, anyway, that's where I got this one. I know some of you watching are Canadian, but of course, you know, flashlights are not an issue at the border at all. You don't have to worry about it. You can just order, uh, same with a lot of, uh, you know, I, I order a lot of things and they come across no problem, but, uh, I know there's some hesitancy, especially with certain knives. So, um, this came from white mountain knives. Uh, all I'm saying it's helpful to the channel. If you'll go over there, if you're going to pick one up as well, um, quick rundown on size i will bring just the streamlight and the uh, i5t back really quickly so that you can see how it compares to them in size uh hold on a minute guys my my knife for today uh is the big banter and you can see very similar in size to the big banter and the big banter is a pretty standard size here is my benchmade crooked river again uh, smaller than that, but you can see, you know, this is around four inches. This is around five inches. Give you a good idea. I guess this is to give you the actual numbers. It's, it's four and five eighths inches long. It's about an inch wide. It's half an inch thick for most of the, the body, but then you can see there's this thicker portion at the end to accommodate the charging. All right. And it's five eighths back here weighs in at around three ounces. So 
to me, that's a pretty comfortable carry. And I, I can say that from experience, um, for in, in preparation for this, when I first got the light, I charged it, I carried it a couple times, but then when I was getting ready to do this video, I'm like, okay, I'm going to carry this every single day this week. So this has just been in my pocket all the time. And it's not a problem. I've had no issue with it um, being in my pocket uh, all the time. All right. Uh, so in terms of, of carry, it's very, very comfortable to carry. And I think this represents a really, um, a really good sort of balance, right? Because it's comfortable to carry, but it gives you that slightly more performance. It's not as good as, a, as an 18650 light, but it's pretty darn good. So um, that's, uh, that's my rundown on sort of carry and use case. Really quickly on the functionality, if you've had an Olight before, you'll know how this functions. So uh, one click is going to turn, uh, hold on, my kids have got this in laser mode. One click is going to turn it on. If you hold the light down, it's going to cycle through the modes. All right, so you can see it going there. If it's off and you hold it down, it's going to go into moonlight mode, which you barely can see. All right, it's not even picking it up. By the way, I will do a couple of batteries still full and I've been carrying this for uh, a few days. So that's pretty encouraging. Um, if you want to get to turbo mode, you can double click right away. And if you want to get to strobe, you can triple click. <clears throat> and so that's a quick rundown on the light function. And that's really what I've used the most. Now these do have a laser function. So you can see that little laser beam there. I've got a cat, so I've used the laser a couple of times. That's really all I find it much use for. And you can switch between, so if the light is on, you can see you can switch between laser and light just by flicking this little circular dial here. I'll quit doing that because I know I'm messing with the <laughs> messing with the light. Um, so now that I've given you a quick rundown on the functions, you've got the size. Um, I guess I should give you a rundown on the the lumens. So the turbo mode is going to be a thousand lumens. That's going to last. Well, it's going to drop down. So it's going to be a thousand lumens for four minutes, and it's going to drop down by thirty percent, and it's going to stay there for a hundred and ten minutes. I, you know, I rarely use turbo. On high, it's three hundred lumens. Now, if I'm going for a walk, I have used high a fair bit. If it's really dark and you want to see where you're going, you're going to want to use the the high mode. Um, and it, it'll last, it'll go on high for 125 minutes. Then it's going to drop down to, again, a drop down by 20%. And there it's going to stay there for 34 minutes, but you're eating a lot of battery, right? So just be aware, um, when you go through medium, low and moonlight, uh, medium is 60 lumens, low is 15 lumens and moonlight is one lumen. And, <laughs> um, those are, those numbers are longer. Like we're talking about hours and hours here. So, um, the, the it, it mentions that it'll be on moonlight for eight days. I don't know what you would need it to be there for, for eight days. Um, uh, but at, even at 60 lumens, 11 hours is pretty darn good. Okay. So, um, you've got the battery indicator here, which you just saw, you've got the flick flicky back and forth for the, the laser to light. This is, you know, waterproof or water resistant. You know, if you drop it in a puddle, if you're out in the rain, uh, it's not going to cause a problem. You know, this is not meant to go attach onto your scuba gear or something like that, but, uh, you're going to have no issue with water. If you drop it again, you're, you're very unlikely to break it. Um, so those things are, and, and, you know, I'm not going into all that stuff because if you've watched one Olight video or read one Olight booklet, you've seen it all. They always build to those similar specs. Uh, and this one is built that way. Um, so quick, that's, that's my sort of little quick summary of the features functions of the Olight Arkfeld. It has performed really, really well for me. And I have to say, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, the one thing we haven't done is any beam shots. So I'm going to roll in some beam shots here in the next couple of seconds. All right, guys, we are out in the field behind my place. I have the Olight Arkfeld to share with you. Oh, yeah. There we go. And I'll just quickly cycle through the mode. So there's the low, medium, and high. And then if I double click this, we can get into turbo. 
there you go so that pushes up to a thousand lumens you can see pretty floody light but quite effective and you could easily use this uh let's go back to high mode there there you go and you could easily use this on high to get around if i was i don't know looking for something out here or walking the dog or something like that completely possible Okay, so now that you've seen a quick look at how this uh, how this functions when you're outside in the dark, my wrap up is going to be that I really do believe this to be an improvement over something like this or something like this or even now this is not so much an improvement but a, a better alternative for EDC than something like this guy. So you know, here is a full-size 18650 light. Uh, it's the M2R baton. Great light. I love this light. It's on my bag all the time. Everywhere I go uh, when I'm carrying my, my work bag, this is with me. So I absolutely love this light. I use it a lot. But to carry this in your pocket is a little unwieldy, where this is absolutely comfortable and easy to deal with. Um, and what I like is it doesn't quite give you the full functionality of this, but it gets close enough that you can carry this on those days or those times where you really may need to be out in the dark for a while and need a, a more substantial light than what this guy or this guy, uh, are, are going to, uh, are going to offer you. So I do think the Arkfeld lands in a really nice sweet spot. Uh, I plan to pick up a couple of other lights like this. You've got, if you've got recommendations, throw some down in the comment section below. Uh, the, this, this sort of new style where they're going with the flat, I find this really, really comfortable in pocket. So, um, I definitely want to try a couple of other lights in that same configuration. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this light. If you've got one of your own, or as I say, what are some better options that are out there? We will talk to you soon.